I thought I was gonna scrap this video starting over again so that ain't no problem for the listener or watcher that thing is pitched a swarm it was one of them big swarms I pulled off that thing because I put video video here here and there on Facebook shook a big one over yonder it's in one of them boxes on that run I bet you it was her so here's what we got I popped that top one off as in the middle of starting the video I was gonna hang queen in a cage and this baby right here and shake a bunch of bees in there with what I'm gonna do is this there's queen cells up in that honey super I'm gonna set that bad boy right on there and then I'm gonna shake a bunch of bees I'm gonna shake a bunch of bees in there with it okay this is what we got. I showed you all this before, just a glimpse in, a, uh, in the probably the last clip or something. Is that eight combs? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, spaced about an inch and three eighths apart. Stuck in sticks in there so they'd have something to brace them. When I go to pull a lid off of it, you know, you won't be dropping wax all over the place. They'll put bark comb in there, fine. All right. This is the deal. If I set that box of them queen cells, the very top one, right there, shake some bees with it, and just leave it there, they'll build underneath it down in there. That's the game plan when she gets mated. Now what I'm going to do is make another split with the bottom boxes and walk away with them. All right. Good genes. I mean, they don't live that two years compounding the gene pool. Of course, they back cross here. To, never mind the genetics. Anyway, pretty good stuff. All right. So I'll split with them and walk away with them. The field bees will come back home to here. Give them enough stuff to draw a little something during the flow. Don't worry about it. Ain't worried about it. I'll leave that super sitting on there all the winter. If they want to use it, they will. If they want to draw below it, fine. I might stick a feeder super on it this fall if it'll light or something other. That's the game plan. Here we go. So you got to improvise on the fly enough a little pile of bees, you know. Make changes accordingly. This is how it is. We're going to get all these out of the way. Don't want anything for bees to cluster on right there if I can help it. I'm hoping This is what I found a while ago and I stopped the video. Well, I changed my mind. See it? Kind of tore the end of that one up a little. See them? So they'll be just tickled. Just lay that baby right, uh, right up on top of here. complicated stuff. It's hard to do, ain't it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to take the vents out. That way I won't run the risk of, um, of them, uh, using the tippy top for an entrance. Y'all ain't gonna give me any facial love, are you? No love. That. 
So they got them a little assortment of queen cells in there. They can have them their little royal battles and stuff. So now, you know the situation isn't hopeless. See that? Well, this one. That's about right. See them? So this split will be fine. If I wanted to get real greedy, and I might do it since it's so nice, the little old bug. I might uh, make two splits. So now, I can take both of them two boxes and do a walkaway split with each one of them. Should make a call. You run, get them a bottom board and a lid. What we got is, what I got is, camouflage, how nice, bottom board, got a box of bugs with a queen cell on that. So see, now, got all these fantastics flying around, gonna have to figure stuff out. They'll finally find this, hopefully. 
We got two boxes of bees right here. Both of them got queen cells. They plum tickle in my face playing. Should turn into two colonies here as soon as they get flying and get mated. There you go. Not too tickled, but nevertheless. We caught up on a little go-go juice there. Catch y'all later. See how the bugs and the stick do.